One of the biggest benefits of Instagram carousel posts is that they're extremely versatile. You can use them to share your brand story, do a quick event recap, launch new products, all while helping you boost your presence on Instagram. An Instagram carousel is a post with multiple photos or videos that can be viewed by swiping left and you could include up to 10 images or videos. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create Instagram carousel posts using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. By the end of this video, you will learn how to effectively create stunning Instagram carousels posts that get three times more engagement than regular posts. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nancy and I help small business owners turn their passions into profits. Let's go ahead and dive into this Canva tutorial. All right, so here we are on Canva. And the first thing we need to do is create a design. So I'm gonna click on create a design. A Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. I'm actually gonna create a carousel post that has five posts instead of the 10 slides. I'm gonna do five slides. So what I'm gonna do is multiply 1080 by five, which is 5,400. And then the height, I'm gonna leave the same 1080. And I'm gonna go ahead and create new design. So now we have the actual design, the layout where you're gonna create your carousel. Once you do this, what I recommend is using the rulers and guides. If you go to file and you click on show rulers and show guides, you will get this set, you will get this here and here. And this is gonna help you separate this into five posts, which will ultimately be your carousel. So the first one is gonna be measure at 1080. So I'm just gonna grab the guide right here and slide it to 1080. So it doesn't give you the exact amount, so I'm gonna do 1078, which is pretty close. And I'm gonna let it go. The second one is gonna be 2160. And I'm gonna look for that as close as possible. So 2158 uh, will do. Keep in mind, all I'm doing is multiplying 1080 by one, 1080 by two, 1080 by three, and 1080 by four. That's all I'm doing. So the next one is gonna be 3240. So we're gonna add this right here, 3238, which is pretty close. And the last one is gonna be 4320. So we're gonna put that here. 4318 is pretty good. So as you can see, they're, they look like they're divided pretty even. This is gonna be your five posts that you're creating for your carousel. Now the next step that I recommend is choosing a color, a background color. I'm gonna use one of my branding colors. I'm gonna do light pink. And after this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with the text. So you could go to text here. You could add any of these if you want. You could do a heading or a subheading. I usually just add this one here. It's bold, I like it. And it usually puts it in the middle when you click on it. Just put it where you want it. So I'm gonna put it right here for now, just as a, a placement, just to see where, where everything's even. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this and paste it here, 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 and here. That way I could keep the same consistency of the same font. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on duplicate up here, and I'm gonna move it right next. next. And you see how the rulers help you to keep everything even or keep everything in the middle accordingly to this one. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate again. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate. And I think I'm good for now because at the end, I always like to do something a little bit different here. The point is when you're creating a carousel is that you create the hook, which is your main carousel photo, which is the attention grabber grabs the person's attention. And that's where you put the value of what they're gonna get by reading your entire carousel. In the middle, it's gonna be your golden nuggets, like it's gonna be your education, you're educating that person, entertaining that person, whatever, you're showcasing them um, or including information. And the, the last slide should be your call to action. What, call, what type of call to action do you want? Do you want them to head to your shop to shop now? Do you want them to click to watch your latest YouTube video? Do you want them to sign up for a course? Do you want them to buy your new jewelry that you, you know, you launch whatever you sell, you want a call to action at the end. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna say five reasons why you need to sell digital products. So this is what my slide is gonna be about. 
and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to go ahead and center it right there. You could play around with this. You could change this for, you know, your branding colors. Like I like to do two tones. So I'll probably go here and do this just so it could stand out. You see how it looks a little bit better now? It kind of stands out a little bit more. Um, it's really up to you, but just make sure that this is the attention grabber. Um, it's your hook to what they're going to learn about. So I think that looks pretty good. I kind of like, like how it looks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this um, name down here, and I'm going to add a little arrow pointing. So it's almost like a call to action, like swipe. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search for errors. And I'm going to go ahead and do a click. And what I like to do when I'm searching for something, if I don't want an image that's going to be moving, I click on settings and I click on static. That's what I need right now. I just want an image that's not going to move. That way I could see all of my options right away. I kind of like this one here, so I'm going to click there. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And remember, it always pushes it to the middle, so you have to drag it to where you want it to be. And then I'm going to change this into a solid color, like a black. Um, you know what? Uh, let's see. I kind of, when I was looking at them, at them, I kind of like something more simpler. Let's see if there's something else. I kind of like this one better, so I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to use this one. It looks a little bit better. I'm going to drag it over here again. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to kind of fit. And I'm going to push this a little bit more to the top and put it right there. I think that looks pretty, pretty good so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brand my carousel. You want to make sure that you brand it with your Instagram. You could also use like your Etsy store, your Shopify business. You could do your YouTube. It's really up to you. The point is when people share this on to their social media platform, like Instagram, like they say they share it to their story, you want your branding to show up so other people could follow you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search for Instagram. I'm going to do my Instagram handle. Because if they're sharing it on Instagram, it'll be a lot easier for them to follow me there than having to go somewhere else. But obviously, you could get as creative as you want. And I'm going to put this right on the bottom down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this text. So I'm going to right click, ungroup. And I'm going to take this down here. And I'm going to drag it down here and use it for my handle. So... I'm going to type in Nancy Badijo 13. And then what I'm going to do is I like how that looks. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because you don't want to make this the attention grabber. This is the attention grabber, the hook. But you want to make sure that you do brand this. So I think that looks pretty good. It's not in your face. It's, it's just there in the corner. So once you're happy with this, I'm going to go ahead and group these together by selecting all right there. Right click. I'm going to group it. And now I'm going to select this one and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to add it to every single post. So I'm going to add it here. I'm going to use the little ruler to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. I'm going to add it here. Right. And I'm going to just duplicate it again. And I'm going to add it here. As you can see, it's, it looks pretty good so far. So now is adding elements. You can add elements, you can add photos. Um, if you go up here on elements, you could type in, let's say that you are a nutritionist and you're doing a carousel um, post for that. You could put food, PNG, and you will get tons of different foods that you could use um, to use for your carousel. So you could just go through these and find some that you could use. Maybe you want to use, I don't know, these French fries, right? and you wanna put this in your carousel. Look at how cool that is. You could put it on two carousels. That way you could create a seamless carousel post, but you could do it like this. So it's really, really cool. It just depends on what niche you're in. If you sell jewelry, if you sell um, courses, it doesn't matter. As you can see, it's this simple. You could just drag it and drop it and put it wherever you want, as you can see like that. And it looks pretty cool. 
So for mines, I'm just gonna use, let's see, water, colors, PNG. Let's see what comes up. Um, it really depends on what you wanna use. I like stuff like this. So for instance, I could do this. You see, click on it. Here it is. Oops, I clicked on it twice. Let's delete one. And I could do this, right? I could put that right there. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. I could take this one, duplicate it, and I could put it down here, right? Just to make it look a little bit different. I could I go ahead, duplicate it again, and I could put it up here. As you can see, it's really that simple. You could do this with images. You could do this with watercolors like these, as you can see. Um, it really depends on what you're looking for. But let's say, this is what I wanted to create. This is how you create a seamless carousel that the artwork, whatever you put here, food, jewelry, whatever you sell, goes from one slide, one post to the other, to the other, to the other, seamless. And once you're happy with this and once you create your content, what I'm going to do now is fill these in. But as you can see, I went ahead and added a little bit more context. So I added these numbers, I added the little title here and then i added more information on the bottom i did this with if you google money this is where i found the coins right here as you can see this is where i found the money down here as well as you can see and if you go here and you type in numbers you'll get a different variations of different numbers that you could use to kind of create one two three i did change this because in the beginning i said five reasons but I only have one with the main slide I have three slides here which is for information and I have my call to action so make sure that whatever you say in here if you say you know eight tips that's fine but you will make us a, a carousel slide that has 10 posts because the main one doesn't count and the last one doesn't count but in between it will be eight because you have eight tips so always keep that in mind now the last one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an image of me. I did this on Canva. I erased the background. Um, you can make it personal by adding an image of yourself um, or your logo of your business. And what I'm going to put here is I'm going to use the same um, heading just to keep the same aesthetic. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to say um, have questions. Um, let me know below have questions space let me know below and then you can make this a little bit smaller if you needed to as well uh, maybe I'll put this like this like that kind of wrap it around my photo here and then what you could also do is you could always add um, down here, call to actions for people to save this, share it, etc. So what I did was I uploaded one of my images from Instagram. So I could have this as a benchmark of where these little things are at, like the heart, the comment and share and bookmark. And I'm just going to put it right here just like this. So I could have an idea of where to put this at, right? So here we go, and I'm gonna just try to fit it as close as I can. So now I have an idea of where to put the heart, where to put the comment, where to put the share, and you don't have to use all of them, you could just do two. But what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna type in heart, and I wanna find something relatively close to that. So I kinda like this one here looks like the one I already used before. And I'm gonna drag this, oops, not the text, and the heart. Make sure you have the right layer. Oops, again, drag it over here. And put this back over here. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna put it right here, smaller. And I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna do bookmark. Keep in mind that likes are great, but bookmarks and share um, are more important for Instagram. So just keep that in mind. 
Um, so I'm going to drag this one as well. And let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to put this one over here. And I think that looks good there. Looks pretty good. I'm going to delete the top layer. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put little arrows pointing down. So I'm going to put error here. Look for another error. So let's see which one of these I could use. <clears throat> let's see if I could find any. Let's go ahead again. Go to settings, static. It'll be a lot easier for me to find what I'm looking for. All right. So I'm going to use this one here. Again, I don't know why it's making it so humongous. Make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to rotate it. And then I'm going to drag it down here. So it's still a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Once you do that and you're happy with how it looks, what you're going to do is go ahead and duplicate the little arrow to put over here as well. So let me go ahead and fix this really quick. Okay, so as you can see, I have the arrow pointing down here and I have the arrow pointing down here. So this looks pretty good to me. Once you're happy with your carousel, keep in mind what's cool about Canva is that you could keep this and you could reuse this over and over once you create it. And you could always click here on duplicate page if you don't want to mess up this one and you want to work on a new one. So always do that. That way you don't mess the original one. Now, once you're happy with this, all you're going to do is go ahead and download it. Um, I usually just download it as a PNG. So download this to your computer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a website called Pine Tools to split this into different images. So we could split it into five images. Let's go ahead and click here on, well, this is the site Pine Tools, but what you want to do is click on split image online. And once you go in here, it's going to ask you choose a file. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. And you're going to choose it from your computer. So I'm going to go to downloads and it's right here. As you can see, I'm going to select it from here. I'm going to select that. I want it in quality of five. So it actually, let's see, I think it actually picked it up, but you want to make sure that it's five here and you want to make sure that it's horizontal. Once you're happy, go ahead and click on split image. And it's going to start generating the different images here that you have. So let's wait for a few seconds. So it says two images were, but we need five. So let's go ahead and click five again, horizontal and split image. Okay. So here they are. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download each of them to your computer. And now I'm going to show you how they look when you download it to your Instagram account. Okay, so once you're ready to post on Instagram, make sure that you have your post saved to your camera row. And what you would do is just click on the plus sign, click on post. From here, you will select the main photo, which is the, the hook photo. And then on the right bottom, you will click on this little icon, little square icon. From there, you will select the additional ones in the order that you want them to be. Once you're picked all of them in the order, you can go next. From here, you're able to view them to make sure that they are in the right order. They look great. Click next. Here, you will add your caption, your hashtag, tag anyone you need to, location, and then you just press share. And this is how they look in your feed. They actually look pretty, pretty good. They're not getting cut off. It looks great. And this is how simple it is. So there you have it. This is how easy it is to create an Instagram carousel post using Canva. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share. And I will see you on the next video. See you later.